Nathan? Okay. Um, first of all, if you don't mind, I'm going to hand these out. Hey guys, we're going back and forth and saying it's outside the city limits, inside the city limits. But in 2012, as you'll see the first sheet, from which Kevin, you were on the board there. You go down, you'll see about midway down, it says nuisance ordinance 007 violation. Abatement letters dated August 15th. The owners are given 30 days. We dropped down to the locations, 219 New Street. That was abated by the council October, well, actually August 15th of 2012. And, you know, just saying that's one of the things. Uh, then you go to the next page. I'm going to go over this real quick because I don't need to, I just want to give you the information. Um, the next page you'll see Graham Auto, which we discussed that too. And you'll see this is another letter dated back to 2012 in which Mr. Graham is moving cars around to make more space inside the fence. He was notified to move the cars back in because he was in violation. Because the actually ordinance says you must store the vehicles on the property. You can't have them outside the fence. Because if you look at TNT, they don't, back there in their body shop, they don't store them outside. They stormed me out. I didn't um, but then you'll go down here again, and it talks about New Street again. It says the surveyor's office has stated that New Street is in the, if they forgot the is part, is in the city limits. However, it's unsure whether they pay city or county taxes. Well, I can clarify they do pay county taxes. Me and uh, the assessor, Shannon Cassins, went through it, and they pay ta count, or not county, I'm sorry, city taxes, and we went as far back as 1952. And they pay city. They're in the windfall log in there. That's city taxes. Okay. Then you go to this sheet, the third sheet, which I had them reversed. It says the surveyor's office needs to be called about New Street. So you guys, it, somebody called them and verified it was in the city limits. Um, then you come where Donnie Yunt had complained about New Street. He's especially concerned with roads, blowing trash, and overgrowth. He was informed about the property owner along with others, had been sent a nuisance letter, and the condition of the property was in direct violation of the town's ordinances. These are uh, your guys' own minutes talking about it. Uh, I went down and I did research on, on annexes, and you're supposed to have an ordinance for each annex you get. There's 11 annexes that I found. There's one ordinance in 1998. That's it. Only one ordinance. So there's there's paperwork. There might be paperwork for it. But the thing is, it needs to be cleaned up either way. I mean, we can go we can go back and forth on this and say it's inside, it's outside. But it's been like this for decades.